Hey everyone, I wanted to do a little walkthrough of my art journal, uh, or junk journal from last summer. This was the first junk journal that I ever did. Um, it's made out of a traveler's notebook insert. Um, I poked holes in the um, sides right here and then strung a piece of fabric through it. This is actually um, a picture from a magazine that I then painted on and I wrote volume one on here on the barbed wire. I really like the bird but the bird got covered up. Um, this little charm hanging down is from a vacation we took last summer um, in Nisswa, Minnesota. It was one of those little um, Nisswa is a cute little town with a bunch of little shops and it had a machine that you could put a penny in and it would, um, and you selected your design and it's, it rolled out your penny. So that was cool. Um, this is something my daughter made me and gave to me, a little keychain. So my junk journals, I just, I stick junk in them. Um, so just a picture from her school, her little school notebook or her little school um, thing. And then a lot of journaling, and I like to make tippins that I washi taped in. This was her birthday party, was unicorns. So this was, um, I used, oh, like, like a gesso-y type stuff to um, put in a piece of the napkin from her party. And this is just journaling. Um, this had a lot of journaling. This was just a great day outside. And I love quotes. Um, so I do a lot of quotes in my things. And I just randomly stapled in these kind of like tags from different scrapbook papers just because I liked them. This was from something that I bought from the... Um, Oh, what's her face? You guys know who I'm talking about. Um, the really popular. Uh, she makes art journaling and junk journaling supplies. <clears throat> that was from a package. Um, that's a picture of my daughter that I just love. <clears throat> I painted that, drew it, and painted it. This is one I got into a, for a little while. I really got into trying to do faces and eyes. So there's some practice of that. Um, I like to keep track of things my, um, kids say, and Henry asked me, Mommy, what does free feel like? And I wrote, I journaled about that, and then I, these pictures are from my sprocket. That's a face I tried to do. These are more cool pictures. This was kind of capturing all these tippins, capturing our days of summer. We had a great summer. Um... This is just a picture that my daughter drew me, taped in there. Some days I am the flower, some days I'm the rain. Pick flowers, not fights. <laughs> That's just scrap of paper. Journaling. And this is watercolor in the background. Um, first back float. <laughs> tip in and journaling. This was from a card that we got in the mail and I thought it was a beautiful card so I cut it up. I journaled on it. Um, this is a picture of Addie and my mom making guacamole. <laughs> uh, create something, anything. This is just art, a little art journal page. Um, this is... I drew a picture that because this kind of inspired me, I wanted to try and draw my own version of it. It didn't work out very well, <laughs> but um, my daughter started doing art in here with me last year, and I just kind of, this turned into the little um, kind of dedication to that. This is a picture of us at my sister-in-law's wedding, probably one of my favorite pictures, um, and I liked this is cut out from a magazine, Creation in Tandem. I thought that was cool because she sits at her little desk and colors and she asked me, Mommy, can we do art together? So there's a little picture that she colored me in this little slip out. Um, set 
wide the window let me drink the day I love that so I kind of drew a window and then taped in more of that card it looks like the day oh Henry flying out of a <laughs> tube slide and sitting with their friends at the pool so I like to just stick things in random places it's my favorite this is from our vacation to Minnesota. Um, this was a doily. Um, let's see, tipped in pictures here. My daughter and my sister-in-law. I think I stuck in journaling here or something. Um, family reunion pictures. This was our trip to Gull Lake last summer. So I've got pictures stuck in there of our vacation. It was a great vacation. Um, these are all sprocket pictures. So, I just love it. It's probably one of my favorite places. This little piece of um, scrapbook paper is was from a set that I really liked. It's kind of like, it, it looks antique -y to me almost which I really think is cool. Oh, and then I cut a, a hole out of it, and there's a picture beneath of Addie and her floaty, and then I stuck those pictures in. Um, this was more about vacation. This was 4th of July art journaling. This was more from vacation. I had cut a hole in it and strung some twine through that little thing that I, we punched on vacation. Um, this is more of that... Um, more pictures I cut up. I made my mother-in-law scrapbook, so a lot of these are leftovers from what I made her. Um, this says, some memories never leave your bones. Like salt in the sea, they become part of you, and you carry them. I love that. This is a ribbon. And, it's like, um, this was a, uh, like a pattern like a stamp pattern or when it, I'm, the words are escaping me. Um, we have each other. We have everything. This was us on the lake and this has journaling in it. It's an envelope that I tipped in and stamped on. I believe that's the last page, maybe. I think so. Yep, that's the last page. So that's that art journal volume one. I really, really enjoyed doing that and it was a wonderful introduction to art journaling. Um, and I will show you my volume two. Thanks guys.